Hi, this is Joel, and I'm here to give you a quick run through of the dashboard in our new Magpie web application, uh, which is available for you to test in public beta. Uh, you can go to beta.magpie.com as opposed to app.magpie.com, which is the location for our existing app, which many of you I know will have been using. So again, go to beta.magpie.com. You can see this um, at work with your own forms and data. So the first thing I think if you've been using our existing app that jumps out at you when you come to our new uh, web application, uh, when you come to the beta, is there's a lot more information for you to see. Uh, a lot more choices for you to make, a lot more ways that you can dive into your data right on the dashboard without having to go too, uh, too far into the app. Um, one great example of that is simply that we now have a data map right on the dashboard so you can see uh, some information about where your data has been collected and you don't have to dive uh, into the app or go through seven different clicks or levels to see it. Now uh, another feature that we did not have on our previous uh, dashboard besides the the map is uh, a date range. So uh, for example in the old app when you logged in if you selected a form you would see uh, uh, let's say a graph of data over time for that form, but it would always show you from the first data record collected with that form until the most recent uh, record collected. So you couldn't, for example, select, well, I just want to see this year's data, or perhaps I just want to see the last seven days worth of data. Um, and of course, now you can. When you select a date range here at the top, um, it will remember the date range from one login to the next, and the different widgets, this is what we call these displays at the top of the screen, one, two, and three, uh, these different widgets will reflect the date range that is selected. So this uh, data over time, data collected over time, is reflecting um, the date range selected, as is this list of data collectors and the number of data records they've collected over that period of time. Uh, this is something new, the average time, uh, average time in minutes, which is to say, uh, this is showing you how much time did it take any particular data collector on average to go through a form from start to finish? How much time between when they opened the form and when they saved the form as complete? Um, on the map, of course, you can see lots of data. And uh, of course, this year, six or seven months, that's a pretty long period of time. You can dive further into the data if you like. Um, uh, lots and lots of data that's collected in a very close geographic range is clustered under one of these little plus signs. And then if you click on it, it allows you to expand that plus sign. As you can see, there has been a lot of data collected for this particular, these particular accounts over a short period of time. Um, something else you'll notice is that we haven't actually selected any forms. So what then is being displayed here at the top of the screen? Well, uh, you can see it in the title of the widgets. It's the top five forms. So when you select a particular date range, uh, or depending on what date range was selected when you logged in, uh, you'll see the top five forms, the forms with the most data uh, collected over the date range that's specified. Um, in the old app, you couldn't see more than one form displayed in any kind of graphic at the same time, and now you can. So let's go ahead and select a particular form. Uh, now we're gonna go from top five forms to where it says selected forms, and you can see that the displays change at the top. If we select more than one form, and I'll just pick one uh, test form, a logic test that has only eight records, uh, again, the display changes. And one thing we can tell is that one of the forms we've selected has, has more than 2,000 records selected. And uh, the other form has only eight. So we can see that the one with eight kind of gets swamped by the one that has 2,000. If we want, we can actually select part of the graph and zoom in to the part where both, I see one record here for the, for the logic test form, we can zoom into the graph and display only a certain part of it, or go ahead and reset the zoom and jump back. Again, that was not possible on the old Magpie app. Uh, what we'll be doing in future is uh, developing more widgets up at the top to give you more ways to see your data. These widgets are repositionable, right? so you can drag widgets from one place to the next, And now we can see the widgets uh, in a different location and we'll have more of a selection. We also have down at the bottom here, uh, Magpie tips, uh, indications of new features, ways you can use the app more efficiently, like this, this is my favorite tiny tip, 
uh, double click a form to open it. In the old app, you used to have to select a form and then click the open button, which is maybe a little too much work. Now you can double click a form and it jumps right in. So uh, please do go ahead and log into beta.magpie.com. Uh, we've got all kinds of new features, refinements of old features, uh, little improvements, and lots of big improvements too. I look forward to hearing your feedback.